I don't know whether you've ever seen probably the most remarkable substance in the entire world, which I have right here in this big beaker. Looks like water. It is water. But water is one of the most remarkable things in the entire world. Now, the reason I say that is because it can be in a solid and a liquid and a gaseous state all at relatively normal temperatures. In fact, here, we, I'm measuring it right now. See that coil there? You recognize that? Yeah, it looks, some sort of, it looks like some sort of heater. Right, that you put in a cup of coffee to heat it up yeah. quickly. And there's the probe of the thermometer. Then there's another probe down here, and another one way down at the bottom, yeah, I where see. I have a chunk of ice with uh, uh, washers frozen in it to hold it down, down at the bottom. And those, all of those go over here to the computer. Here's the bottom, the middle, and the top, see? And this is the air temperature, by the way, over there. Well, it looks like it's pretty cold at the bottom and pretty hot at the top. Yeah, pretty hot at the top. In fact, we could let it go, and it would we could actually have frozen liquid or frozen water at the bottom and boiling water at the top, and there would be that much difference be just in that little bit of water. So water is a very poor conductor of heat. Now, scientists, when they talk about this, call it the change of state. So do you know what the state of solid water is called? Ice. Ice. And liquid water? It's just water. Water. And water as a gas? Is like steam. Steam, right. Now, and water changes, and other things change from one state to the other based on how much energy they have. Here, for example, let's assume that all these little marbles in these circles are molecules of water in a crystal state. And notice how when I shake them, they all stay sort of in the same place, yeah. but they vibrate. Yeah. Okay. Now, in order to change them to a liquid, you have to heat them enough so that they can break out of this crystal structure and flow all over the bottom of the container. So here, you take it and shake it back and forth this way till you get them all out of the little holes. A little harder. There you go. Now, see how they're, they're flowing all over the bottom of the yeah. container, which is what it's happens like when you put water in. Now you're going to change it to a gas, and the gas has to fill the entire container. So we're going to shake it up real hard. There you go. A noisy gas in this case. So now you can see here is this remarkable liquid that I told you about, where we can have ice, water, and steam all in one container at relatively normal temperatures. So I told you it was unusual. It is. Now I see. Yes. Yeah.